On the next Wood Songs, it's a country music tribute to the great Buddy Holly. Featuring country music stars David Frizzell and Helen Cornelius. You make me cry, you say you're gonna leave me, you know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day when I die. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music online at folk-book.com and by Time Warner Cable providing cable, telephone, and internet service. Here on the Louisiana Hayride, his name is Hank Williams. The best in From the Grand Ole Opry, Bill Monroe and his Bluegrass boy. Hi, this is Bruce Hornsby. Hi, this is Kevin Moe. Hey, folks, this is Bela Fleck. Hi, folks, this is Sam Bush. Hello, this is Odetta. This is Joan Baez, and you're listening to the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. And now, gather the family around and sit back in your easy chair. It's time again for the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour, our worldwide celebration of grassroots music. Let's welcome folk singer, author, and tree hugger, Michael Jonathan. His career lasted all of 18 months, just a year and a half. And in that year and a half, he not only changed the face and feel of popular music, but he inspired all kinds of other artists, like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and so many. On a February afternoon, we lost him in a plane crash, but not before he told his bass player that he couldn't go on that trip on that plane. And his bass player, Waylon Jennings, later on became a huge country star. He told the bass player, he said, I hope you don't freeze on that bus since he couldn't ride the plane. And the last thing that Waylon Jennings told Buddy Holly was, I hope your plane doesn't crash. And that haunted Waylon for the rest of his life. Right before Buddy Holly went on that plane, he recorded three songs. And what we're going to play right now, with the help of Melissa and Helen Cornelius, is the last song that Buddy Holly recorded. It goes like this. Forever 
till the end of time and I'll find somebody new baby we'll say we're through and you won't matter anymore there's no use in me uh, crying I've done everything now I'm sick of trying I throw Welcome to the historic Lyric Theater. Here we are in our hometown of Lexington, Kentucky, broadcasting worldwide on over 500 radio stations. Uh, we celebrate independent and grassroots music here on the Lyric Theater stage. We're at the crossroads of America's folk and bluegrass music, the gateway city to the beautiful Appalachian Mountains, where so much of this art and music does come from. Artists come from all over the world to be here. You don't have to be famous to be on wood songs. You just have to be very, very very good. And what we have on this broadcast are two bona fide country music legends. Yes, these two folks are famous, but we're celebrating a, uh, a legacy legendary artist that all of you know his voice and you know his music. It's Buddy Holly. Well, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. Yes, that'll be the day when you make me cry. Buddy Holly introduced so many great songs and one of the most powerful drum tracks in rock and roll history. This one right here. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you know why I feel blue without Peggy. That is who we are celebrating on this broadcast with two wonderful country artists. And this uh, is a CD that's been put out by the, the uh, Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. It's to commemorate and continue the work and the music and the dreams of Buddy Holly as well as his wife. And uh, kicking off our broadcast with one of Buddy Holly's most famous songs, That'll Be the Day. Please welcome country music legend David Frizzell on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. Yeah, that'll be the day. Say goodbye, yeah, that'll be the day When you make me cry, how you say you're gonna leave me You know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day hey, hey, When I die, will you give me all your love All your turtle love All your hugs and kisses and your money too Well, you said you love me and uh, you told me maybe that someday Well, I'll be through with yeah, that Say goodbye, yeah, that'll be the day When you make me cry, you say you're gonna leave me You know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day when I die Say goodbye, that'll be the day When you make me cry, you say you're gonna leave me You know it's a lie, cause that'll be the day When I die, where would you push on the start? You shot it at your heart, so if we ever part Well, I'll leave you with, you said you love me and uh, you told 
told me, Bully, well, uh, that someday, well, I'll be through with well, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. Make me cry You say you're gonna leave me You know it's a lie Cause that'll be the day When I die Well, that'll be the day From a brand new CD collection simply called Remember Me. David Frizzell, it's so great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. And singing with him, of course, is the amazing Helen Cornelius. So. Yes. So, David, you and I were talking uh, before the show, and, and I want the audience to stay tuned because we're going to talk about your career and Helen's career as well. I mean, you both have had, you know, amazing, huge hit records all on your own. But on this broadcast, we're celebrating... Buddy Holly, right. and and first explain to me what the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation is, because that's that's who's coordinating this uh, tribute to Buddy Holly. Well, one of the reasons for it is to keep the Buddy Holly legacy going, uh, just from now on, and it probably will and should. But it's also for uh, underprivileged children who would like to who would like to fulfill their dream in music by either maybe not having an instrument, maybe needing one, or, or they have songwriting seminars all over the world, the UK, they had one in the, in the UK recently. The next one will be in Nashville, I'm hearing, uh, and they've asked me to be there, so uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to. And uh, so it's just to keep, really to keep the, the legacy of Buddy Holly alive. And a lot of uh, uh, famous artists, uh, yourself, Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney. Uh, so many others are involved with this uh, foundation, aren't they? Well, actually, Thursday, the, uh, uh, some time back, a little, little, little bit further back, uh, uh, Paul McCartney came to Lubbock. And they presented him with a guitar just like that one right here. Yeah, so f for the radio audience, what we have on stage is, is a, uh, a commemorative uh, duplicate of, uh, what was that, a, a Gibson uh, 45? Gibson J45. J45, and it has this uh, leather drape around it. It's got a leather <laughs> like a apron. Saddle, like a saddle. <laughs> yeah, right. Buddy Holly made that himself, right, uh, for his guitar. Well, he saw Elvis. Elvis had, had one and had Elvis on there. But Buddy, so Buddy made his. Mm -hmm. He actually made the leather and put he it on. He was a hobby leather yeah, worker. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, Elvis, speaking of Elvis, uh, Buddy Holly was really into country music till he heard Elvis. Exactly. Matter of fact, he was listening to uh, singers like Hank Snow, Carl Smith. Yeah. My, bro my big brother, Lefty. Lefty, you know? okay, I got to commemorate Hank, Lefty here. Hank, you know. And then he, saw, then he saw Elvis in Lubbock. He opened the show for Elvis in Lubbock. And uh, and I was I was talking to uh, to one of his uh, players there to begin you know back in those days and and I asked uh, I asked him about about the about that particular situation and he said I said did, did when he saw Elvis did he kind of uh, uh, kind of change you know did he, kind of, did he get into the Elvis and and uh, and he told me he said only the next day <laughs> <laughs> he started doing Elvis the next day that isn't it odd Elvis Presley shook uh, the world up musically. And, uh, and here's this uh, little kid from Lubbock opening for him who ends up doing the exact same thing. Let's get into the music more. The, the new CD package, it's a wonderful package. It's called Remember Me. It's a tribute to Buddy Holly. This is the title cut from the album. It's David Frizzell on the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio album. <laughs> Sweet song belongs to lovers in the evening. Sweetest days are days that used to be. The saddest words I've ever heard were words of parting. When you said, sweet home, Remember me Remember me When the candlelights are gleaming Remember me At the close of a long, long day It would be so sweet When I Said, sweet home, 
Lord, remember me. Well, you told me once that you were mine alone forever. And I was yours till the end of eternity. I but all those vows are broken now, and we will never be together except in memory. Remember me when the candlelights are leaning. Remember me at the close of a long, long day. It will be so sweet when I Just to know you still remember me. One more time. Man. A brighter face may take my place when we're apart. Sweeter smile. A love more bold and free I bet in the end Fair weather friends May break your heart in And when they do Sweetheart, remember me Remember me When the cat At the close of a long, long day, it will be so sweet when all alone I'm dreaming just to know you still remember me. It just to The next artist that we want to introduce is also part of the Buddy Holly tribute album. She grew up on a farm in Missouri and uh, followed the footsteps of her brothers and, and her sisters and uh, going into country music. And uh, although she started as a secretary, she became one of the, the major voices of country music radio in the 70s and 80s. She's going to do a, a song from the Buddy Holly tribute album called It's So Easy. It's a famous one. Please welcome Helen Cornelius to the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio Hour. It's so easy to fall in love It's so easy to fall in love It's so 
Helen Cornelius on our broadcast, It's So Easy, made famous by uh, Linda Ronstadt yes. and so many others, but, uh, but Buddy Holly wrote it, and Helen, yes. your voice is still as spectacular. Thank I, you. I don't say that Thank you so badly. much. You're just beautiful. So how did you get involved with the Buddy Holly tribute? Well, when it says Frizzell and Friends, uh, we are friends. And uh, <laughs> whenever David wants harmony on something, or <laughs> him, Jimmy, Fortune, uh, I, I go sing with him, and all he does is call, and I come running, and uh, I, go, I go up there, yeah. You're a good friend. Well, there's there's a lot of uh, David's friends on this CD. Merle Haggard's on uh -huh. it. You're on it. Uh, you mentioned uh, Jimmy Fortune. Uh, T. Garam T. Graham Brown is on yes. it. There's there's a bunch on this album. So yes. Buddy Holly really was a a revered artist. Well, he was, and you know, uh, we did a press conference. Uh, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago or something. And one of the foreign, I think a foreign correspondent said, if Buddy Holly were alive today, and he asked Sonny Curtis this question, uh, how would he be, what would he be doing? Mm -hmm. And I said, he would be in style. His skinny <laughs> jeans rolled up, and the big old sunglasses are in style. He'd be right in style. Buddy was an unusual looking fella. Uh, he, that's a good word, yeah. <laughs> that, that <laughs> no, seriously, he was, he was, he was very unlikely uh, to be a rock and roll star. His, his, his whole image was very unlikely that it would happen to him. Like you said, he was skinny, he had the big black horn. He looked like a librarian. Yeah, that's a good word too. Yeah. Yes, but no, he, he was awesome and, and he knew hit songs. He wrote them, and he knew hit songs, and that was the important thing. And, and David Frizzell here is on, on stage as well. 18 months, he started his career, uh, recorded some songs for Decca Records, and they informed him they weren't even going to release them. And his career lasted, he, he turned that around 18 months, and then the plane crash. What a powerful musical journey for anybody, 18 months. You know, it's amazing because during that same press conference that, that Helen was talking about, we had Merle Haggard and everybody on the stage there with me, and a fellow named Bill Cody with, it, with, with WSM asked him that question. How, in such a short length of time, how did he come up with so much material? Mm. And Haggard sat there like this, and he put his hand on his, on his beard there, and he said, well, he knew he didn't have much time, so he had to get it done. Well, <laughs> you know, right before the uh, plane crash, of course, uh, we, we talked about the story of uh, Waylon Jennings was his bass player uh, last minute, and last minute didn't get on that plane. Um, shortly before Buddy got on the plane, you know, he was talking to his wife, uh, Maria Elena, and it, they didn't have an argument, but she wanted him home. She, she didn't want him to leave, and, and she wanted him home, and, and that was a, a, a hurting part in her heart, that one of the last encounters she had with Buddy was, was a stressful one, that she wanted him to stay home. He had to work, this was booked. He, he was a good artist. He fulfilled his contract. And, and uh, you know uh, Mar uh, Maria and his wife, and, and you've even written a song for her. Well, actually, um, Maria Elena was, uh, was in the mama way at that point, too. And, of course, after the, after the uh, crash, she lost the baby. Yeah. And so there's a lot of, lot of emotional stuff that she went through. I mean, she went through it. Phil Everly was one of their best friends, and he was the... One of the ones that actually came over to the apartment. When Phil Everly was the best man at their wedding. Exactly. Yeah. They were best friends uh, from, for just years. And uh, I was contacted to maybe write a song for Maria Elena's 60th birthday, December the 1st. And so when, when I would, heard her name, I just heard the name, Maria, Maria Elena. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, there, there was the melody. Mm -hmm. So I had it about half written before I hung up the phone. And this song called Maria Elena is on the is 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 on the project. It's part of the new Remember Me project, uh, uh, Frizzell and Friends. It's a Buddy Holly tribute. He wrote this for Buddy Holly's wife. It's called Maria Elena, and this is David Frizzell and Helen Cornelius on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio. <laughs> Maria Elena 
Elena, a song off of the brand new release by the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. It's a country music tribute to the great Buddy Holly. We're on our broadcast with the great David Frizzell, the wonderful Helen Cornelius. Stay right where you are. Wait till you meet this week's Wood Songs Kid. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Brian Wilson, and you're listening to folk singer Michael Jonathan and the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. Here's a legendary voice, Brian Wilson, founding member of the Beach Boys, <laughs> starting his career off as we lost uh, Buddy Holly, and that's what we're doing. We're celebrating the music of Buddy Holly on this entire broadcast. David Frizzell is here. Helen Cornelia is part of a great tribute album called Remember Me. It's a country music tribute to Buddy Holly. We're broadcasting worldwide on over 500 radio stations from Australia to Ireland, New Zealand to New York, Yuma, Arizona to the Yukon. In northern Canada, we're also on American Forces Radio Network that puts this show on the radio, on the air, in 173 nations around the world, plus every single military base, every U.S. naval ship, every Coast Guard vessel in the world gets to hear this broadcast on American Forces Radio, and we want to say hello to all those men and women out there that are working really hard. Wood Songs is also a radio broadcast film for television. It's a public television series, and over 90 million homes across the U.S. gets to watch this on their, their home television. So just look at your hometown uh, public television TV guide, and you'll not only get to see David Frizzell on this show and Helen Cornelius, but let's welcome this week's Wood Songs kid. We pick one kid to appear on our show, and his name is Brad. Brad Sparks, and Brad, how old are you? I'm 14 years old. 14 years, and you're here with an electric guitar. Yes, sir. So when did you start playing your guitar? I started playing at eight. Eight years old, and, and, and you're 14 now, and, you, and you're homeschooled. Yeah. You I like am. being homeschooled? Yeah, I do. It gives you plenty of time to practice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. A big influence on Buddy Holly was Elvis Presley. So the first thing everybody's wondering is, as a 14-year-old kid, 
in today's cyber, internet, YouTube, Google world know who Elvis Presley is? Yes. You do. So do you, listen, do you, do you listen to his music? Yes. And you're about to play one of his songs. Mm -hmm. So how, when did you learn this song to play? Um, probably a year or two ago. And you've played it a lot because when we got the submission for you to be on the show, this is what you sent us. Yes. What are the odds that you sent in as a submission to be on our show the very song that Buddy Holly heard that changed him from country to rock and roll? I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't want to overwhelm you with brilliant facts. <laughs> So let's let you play the guitar. You're, you're, you're holding your guitar. It's an electric guitar. It's wireless. He's set up, and he's going to do this solo by himself, 14 years old, Brad Sparks, That's All Right Mama, a big Elvis Presley song. <laughs> If you think that you know a kid that would work great on our show that's not a contest, nobody's going to win anything, nobody's judging anybody, we're just celebrating the music of all young people of all styles, send me an email, michael at woodsongs.com. We'll consider your Woodsongs kid. Who knows? They might be on our national broadcast. So we have the legendary David Frizzell on our show. He had these great hits like I'm going to hire a wino to decorate our home and, and all these. Uh, his big famous hit he's going to perform for us now. It's called You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma. It's David Frizzell on the Wood Songs, old time radio. There's a full moon over Tulsa I hope that it's shining on you The nights are getting colder In Cherokee County There's a blue northern passing through I remember green eyes Here at the storm Remember a song that I do And losing you left Pretty good cowboy, nothing to hold on to. Sundown came and I drove to town to drink a drink or two. You're the reason God made Oklahoma. You're the reason God made Oklahoma. I'm sure missing. 
I'm sure missing Hear the city lights outshine the moon And I was just now thinking about you Sometimes when the wind blows, you can see the mountains and all the way to Malibu. Everyone's a star here in L.A. County. You ought to see the things that they do. All the cowboys down on Sunset Street wish that they could be like you. Thinking of you all day. I've got a calico cat and a two-room flat on the street in West LA. You're, You're the, the reason, reason God, God made Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You're the reason God, God made Oklahoma. And I'm sure missing you. I'm sure missing. Huge hit for David Frizzell on our stage. You're the reason God made Oklahoma. You did that with Shelley West, of course, playing oh, the role of Shelley West tonight with years. Helen Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> many years with Shelley West. Many, many years. You've got with you some wonderful uh, musicians Eddie Houston playing guitar and Stacy Houston <laughs> singing backup. The impact of uh, Buddy Holly, uh, his music was, was stellar. His career, his songwriting, was, it was volcanic because it happened so fast and so consistent. And when you listen to his records, I mean, sonically, his records were almost perfect, even by today's standards. So the, the loss of him, the, the sudden evaporation of this brilliant man, affected a lot of artists, including your brother. And including my brother, absolutely. Lefty, Lefty Frizzell. Lefty Frizzell, yes. I was, I was opening shows for Lefty at that time, 1956, 57. And a Buddy was out there doing That'll Be the Day and a song called Every Day and some of those great, great Buddy Holly songs. And I was opening Lefty songs with Buddy Holly songs. So I've been singing Buddy Holly songs for a long time. For a long time. So how did it affect you? You heard, you heard uh, the plane crash, Buddy Holly was gone, along with Richie Valens and, and the absolutely. Big Bopper. And well, it was absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. I'd, I'd had a chance earlier uh, to meet the Big Bopper. I would actually met him and knew him a little bit. And, uh, but that particular day, we were in Hobbs, New Mexico, me and Lefty on our way back to Nashville. And we got the news that Buddy had died. And, and it was do, devastating. And how do you think it affected uh, uh, Waylon? Um, I mean, he was supposed to be on that plane. The last thing he tells Buddy Holly is they were joking. It was just two guys joking around. Buddy Holly says, I hope you don't freeze on the bus. And, and Waylon says, I hope your plane don't crash. Exactly. And, there was another fellow there by the name of Tommy Olsen. Mm -hmm. And he was a guitar player. Or he is still. He's in Branson today. He was supposed to be on that plane. And he was there the, another flip of the coin. And uh, right after it happened, um, Tommy went back to Dallas and opened a nightclub there, and he called it the Flip of the Coin. So they both lived with that Flip of the Coin for their, li their whole lifetime. Of course, their whole complete lifetime. Right. Uh, the new CD package is a country music tribute to Buddy Holly. David Frizzell certainly organized it with the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. Buddy Holly recorded this song in 1957. Then uh, your brother, Lefty Frizzell, right. recorded it. Now uh, David Frizzell is going to perform the same song. It's called Mailman Bring Me No More Blues from the CD Remember Me. It's David Frizzell and Helen Cornelius. <laughs> on the Wood Songs, Old Town Radio. Yeah, 
got to end sometime, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> David Frizzell, Helen Cornelius from their CD, Remember Me. And speaking of Helen Cornelius, you're here. You are one of the uh, uh, most uh, uh, gentle and beautiful voices of country music through the 70s and 80s. And your big hit when you started off with Jim Ed is a song called I Don't Want to Have to Marry You, and she's going to sing it right now. It's Helen Cornelius on the Wood Songs, Old Time Radio. I don't want to have to marry Cornelius and uh, the uh, the incredible uh, noteless David Frizzell. 
<laughs> Gotta have your little cheater sheet on top oh, of the guitar, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Jim had told me, you know, you're not supposed to learn my songs. He you're hasn't. Supposed to, you're supposed to just sing them, just but sing don't them. learn them, because they're mine, you know? And I said, well, okay, all right. Well, you're obviously taking Jim Ed at his word for it, so, which, is, which is good. We're here celebrating the music of a of Buddy Holly, an amazing uh, artist. There's a country music uh, tribute to Buddy Holly that David Frizzell uh, was instrumental in organizing. It's called Remember Me, and it's put out by the Buddy Holly Educational Foundation. If you want to find them online, uh, it's uh, T-B-H-E-F dot O-R-G, The Buddy Holly Education Foundation. That's how you remember that. It's the, it's the first letters. You can find out all about the CD, who's on it, all the, all the artists. David, 18 months. He was 22 years old when that plane went down. 22 years old. 22 years old. Uh, he recorded 60 songs in those 18 months. He only released three albums in his whole career. And he, he was volcanic. He was a musical tsunami that, that absorbed everything and everybody around him. You know, when I first started putting this together, they, the fellow over in the, over in the UK, uh, one of the founders of the, of the foundation, sent me about 20 or 30 of the songs to start with, just to, to put it together. And about, oh, maybe a month ago, he sent me 28 more. Yeah. I don't know where he got all these songs, and they're just incredible. Yeah. Every one of them are just incredible. And it's amazing how Buddy Holly's career went, because you think, you know, a record label would see somebody like that and revere them and take care of them. Decca Records didn't care yeah. that much. They were looking for another Elvis. They yeah. were looking for another, well, Elvis, actually. Yeah. And um, he just didn't seem, you know, he did That'll Be The Day. Yeah. And he recorded it in Nashville to start with the first time. And then, then didn't do anything. And he went back to Clovis, New Mexico and with Norman Petty and recorded That'll Be The Day out there. And that's the one that was that's a hit. That's the one that, that was a hit. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting as I was, uh, I, a lot of this stuff I didn't know about Buddy Holly, but the record label cared so little for Buddy Holly that they misspelled his name <laughs> on the, the album jacket. And that's how he, he kept the misspelling. Mm. His actual last name is H-O-L-L-E-Y, oh. but they misspelled it on the album jacket. Yeah. They dropped the E. <laughs> and so he used the mistaken spelling. But how disrespectful. You know what? Also, there's a, there was a phone call made from Buddy Holly to the president of the record label. And Buddy was asking him for his, his songs back, the records back. And he was trying to talk the president of the record label into giving him his songs back, the records back, so he could do something with them because he knew the record label was going to do anything. Right. You know, uh, it's interesting how Buddy Holly, as uh, we look at him today, and he's in the upper stratosphere of musicians and legendary artists, but yet when he was here, he was having a hard time getting people to care. You know, in the UK, he was absolutely a superstar in the UK. Over here, he was a star. Over there, he was a superstar. superstar. Still is. Yeah, uh, as you were putting this album together, and I'm sure as you were listening to his records, uh, we mentioned it earlier in the show, the sonic quality of his uh, recordings are amazing, even by today's standards. You know, he was getting into doing his own overdubs. He was, and, the, and that day was, you know, was, was it was a long time ago for that. But he was, he was doing his own overdubs, and he was doing his own harmonies. He was, doing, he was getting into more instrumentation and stuff like that. I think today he would have been a, and I, well, he would just, you know, been a, he, he was a genius then. What would he be now? Well, in, in the 1950s, it was very rare for an artist to insist on that much control and to know at 21 and 22 years old exactly what he needed to do because... Buddy Holly ended up being right. The record executives have been proven wrong by his success. Exactly. In Nashville, they didn't let him play the guitar. Yeah. So when he got back to Clover Street, basically he did it the way he wanted to. Did it the way he wanted to. And it worked. Helen Cornelius and David Frizzell are going to end our show with one of Buddy Holly's biggest hit records. It's called Oh Boy on the Woods Songs. Old time. All of my love, all of my kisses. You don't know what you've been missing for. When you're with me, oh boy, I want the world to see that you were meant for me. All of my life, honey, I've been waiting. 
Tonight there'll be no hesitating, no boy. Oh boy. When you're with me, oh boy. oh boy. I want the world to see that you were meant for me. When stars appear and the shadows are falling, you can hear in my heart the call. A little bit of love makes everything right. And I'm going to see my baby tonight. All of my love, all of my kisses. You don't know what you've been missing, oh boy. Oh boy. When you're with me, oh boy. oh boy. I want the world to see that you were meant for me. All of my life, honey, I've been waiting. Tonight there'll be no hesitating, no more. Oh boy. When you're with me, oh boy. Oh boy. I want the world to see that you were meant for me. Wasn't it great having David Frizzell on the broadcast tonight? And the always incredible Helen Cornelius. Our Woodsongs kid, Brad Sparks, 14 years old, playing an Elvis song. It's a country music tribute to a wonderful artist named Buddy Holly. He died when he was 22 years old in an unexpected plane crash, but recorded 60 songs in 18 months, released three albums, and, and changed the face of rock and roll. He inspired so many from the Beatles to others. You know, uh, there was a young paper boy in uh, New Rochelle, New York, that uh, revered Buddy Holly, had his records, tried to play like him and think like him and look like him and wore the same glasses and everything. Just a little teenage kid in New Rochelle, New York. And the, he was delivering newspapers on his newspaper route. And that morning, he opened up the newspaper. And, and there was the story about his hero uh, gone on that uh, February day. And that was the beginning of how Don McLean wrote American Pie, which is a huge tribute song to Buddy Holly. He affected so many artists, even though he was 22 years old. He was just a kid. And it, it, it reminds me of, of something that is, is very important for all artists to remember. Never take your music for granted. Buddy Holly couldn't do it. He made every single song count. Maya Angelou said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, they'll forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Buddy Holly made everybody feel great, and that's why we remember him. My name's Michael Jonathan. I'm a folk singer. I am a true log cabin dweller, and we'll see you next week on The Wood Songs. You've been listening to Wood Songs broadcast number 777. Michael's opening song was a Buddy Holly classic, It Doesn't Matter Anymore, featuring Melissa Deaton Jonathan and special guest Helen Cornelius. Thank you for tuning in. There are so many talented artists that appear on our stage. It's very hard sometimes to pick the ones that appear on our TV broadcast. So what we're going to do is leave you with a performance from our huge online archive of past shows. We'll see you next time on the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour. He's a world-famous uh, Celtic musician, and he's going to play guitar with you while you play uh, an Elvis song. Which song are you sing? I picked this song out. This goes out to all the mothers out there. Make sure you're listening. This is a song called That's All Right, Mama. <laughs> well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right for you. That's all right. That's all right, that's all right now, Mama, any way you do. Well, Mama, she done told me, Papa done told me too. Son, that guy, you're fooling with, she ain't no good for you. And that's all right, that's all right.
closed captioning provided by the Deering Banjo Company. The television broadcast of the Wood Songs Old Time Radio Hour is presented in part by the Martin Guitar Company, making handcrafted guitars since 1833. Online at martinguitar.com. The Lexington Convention and Visitors Bureau, providing information to visit Lexington, Kentucky online at visitlex.com. By Folkbook, a social media site for arts and music, online at folk-book.com. And by Time Warner Cable, providing cable, telephone, and internet service.